Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon Scarlet, Pokemon Violet and even a Pokemon Sleep update as well. So quite a few things to take a look at. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at today is this different kind of variation of looking at Riddler Koo's leaks. It was posted by uh, Tudangling on the r slash Pokeleaks Reddit. It will be linked in the description down below, so a massive shout out to them. And they titled the post saying, An alternative look at the leaks from Koo and the Uncle. So, obviously, we've kind of come to the conclusion that Riddler Koo is talking about the legendary typings or the starter typings in their latest riddle now of course they haven't posted anything really since then um they just posted like the the that kind of symbol that meant three and then of course like the pokemon masters thing and that's all we've really gotten um but this person has kind of gone into i kind of gone into talking about how it might have like more than meets the eye and stuff and it could be more to do with like the gimmick and everything like that so it's a really good theory um so let's take a look at it it says first post here i've been looking at the leaks and videos of people talking about them and have some different conclusions about what they could possibly be so i'll start with the starters so if the type change rumor is to be believed so that's the gimmick changing the types of the pokemon Again, we don't know what the gimmick is going to be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're just assuming that it has something to do with move types or Pokemon types or something like that. Uh, I would assume that it's going to be like Stance Change or Zen Mode. That being said, I don't see the starters typings to be what everyone thinks. I think the starters will start off as at their final stage. So this person thinks that Sprigatito is going to start off in their final stage as Grass Fairy or Grass Fighting. And then Foycoco is going to be Fire Steel or Fire Rock. And then Quaxley is going to be Water Flying or Water Dark. And then this is why they think this. So Sprigatito, looking at the design, I could see this Pokemon almost monk-like because of what, it's, uh, what looks like a crest on its chest. I could see this evolving into something reminiscent of Surfetched, but with a Conquistador. I, I can't say this word, man. Uh, Fue Coco, I don't see this as being a ghost type Pokemon. I think the mask on the face looks more like a helmet. It would make more sense than the fire slash ghost. I, I, I don't really know what kind of type it would really come to with Fue Coco. A lot of people saying fire ghost. Um, and it's kind of mirroring kind of uh, the, the typings that we just got in Pokemon Legends Arceus because obviously we just got history in Typhlosion, which was Fire Ghost. Some people are saying it's going to be Fire Dragon. Uh, I would imagine that this would be more of a knight like than anything else. I could see this being a more defensive Pokemon than anything else. His belly looks like plating. Uh, and then Quoxley, I'm sure this one will end up looking like some sort of pirate. Of course, there is all the kind of um, speculation about you know the, the, like a lot of spain's history and stuff and portugal's history and how it kind of links in with certain themes and stuff and that's what people are trying to like base the starters off so that's why like a pirate theme is kind of a lot of people are talking about that uh the crest on the hat looks very uh maritime themed the split between the types here is based off of the inherent sailing culture of the iberian peninsula water slash dark for the pirate or water slash flying for the captain I don't think it's going to be water flying. I think if it was or I, th I think if Quoxley was going to be a water flying type Pokemon, it would already be a water flying type Pokemon. Like it, it clearly is a, a duck um, and it has wings already. Like I, I think if it was going to be water flying, it would have started off like that type. Just like Rowlet started off as a grass flying. Um, I, I don't see how it could kind of evolve into something that could then fly because it looks like it already can fly, if that makes sense. So I, I, I'm pretty against the idea that it's going to be water flying. I think it's going to be something like water steel uh, or water dark or something like that. As for the gimmick, I think everyone has been beating around the bush with the form change, but they haven't quite hit the mark. A much more likely scenario, given the way moves worked in Arceus, would be Pokemon have a second ability that causes the form change when a certain condition is met. This is the form change. I think if this was kind of the truth, I think this... Would this mean that like every single Pokemon would have this kind of gimmick? Or would it just be like a select few Pokemon like Mega Evolution is? Or Z moves where like every Pokemon can use it? Um, I feel like this gimmick, because it's like to do with typings and stuff, I think it's... I think it's just going to be like 
a number of Pokemon. I don't think it's going to be every single Pokemon. Like, I don't think you're going to have Magikarp turning into, like, a ground dragon type. I, I think that would just make, like, stuff really, really confusing. I think there's just going to be a certain amount of items, just like the Mega Stones, that you can give to certain Pokemon, and it will allow their types to change. So, let's just say Charizard, for example, because if, you know, if anyone's going to get something, it's going to be Charizard. Um, so, let's say, I don't know, there's an item that makes Charizard go from fire, uh, f fire flying to, I don't know, like, fire grass or something i'm not really sure um but i think it makes sense for only a select few pokemon to get it uh, examples don't crucify me for the ability names this is a work in progress using the starters so sprigatito conqueror when insert final evolution name knocks out a pokemon using insert move here sprigatito changes battle stance raising its attack and speed but lowering its defenses and then Fuecoco has the Eternal Service. So when Fuecoco is knocked out, it sheds its armor and becomes ethereal. It loses steel typing and becomes ghost type. Uh, its special attack rises and its speed rises at the cost of losing HP each turn. I think if it was to be like this as well, it would obviously only be a number of Pokemon because they're not going to give like all these different kind of actions to every single Pokemon. Again, going back to Magikarp, they're not going to be like, if Magikarp uses this attack, then it has this happen it's gonna be just a certain amount of pokemon in my opinion if, if this is how it works and then quaxley has anchors away i really like that um, name when quaxley is backed into a corner uh red low hp uh that's what it's going uh quaxley lands and changes his battle tactics becoming a brawler his super effective attacks do 1.5 times more damage but he also takes 1.5 times more damage too We'll continue the thoughts and comments. My phone service is trash at my desk. Um, so Anchors Away is such a clever ability name. I love it. However, I'm still convinced that Quackley's final evolution will become water fighting. Interesting write-up. I never have any interest in the validity of possibility of leaks slash theories. Like most people, I think it's just super fun to read about all these different ideas in the downtime between now and more info releasing. Uh, here's an alternative look. Ku has handed inside information by a real insider and gained a small amount of internet fame. He became addicted to that fame and uses clues to stretch out his leaks in an attempt to stay relevant longer. Now, there's nothing, but he desperately wants people to pay attention to him and he makes up complete BS in a form of ridiculous puzzles. I mean, this could potentially be true, uh, but at the same time, I don't know. We'll have to wait, I guess, to get a little bit more information. But I guess you could say that about anybody, really. Like, there's loads of insiders on the internet that, like, got one thing right, whether it was lucky or they actually knew something. And now they're always, like, coming out with more information and then turn out to be wrong. Like, Riddler Koo is the only person that hasn't actually gotten anything wrong yet. Um, whereas all the other insiders, like Samus Hunter, Eclipse, uh, what have you, they've all got things wrong. So... Yeah, again, this could be like as a reference to anyone. Um, but that's basically just like another alternate look at Riddler Koo's leaks. Or it also says the uncle as well. So the uncle, they're referring to the kind of Google Doc that we got. Again, we don't know the validity of that either. The only reason that that's kind of got any sort of legitimacy to it is because apparently the person that leaked all that was the person that got um, the new genie right. So again, they could have just got lucky and then they carried it on. We don't really know. But anyway... That's the, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet stuff I wanted to take a look at today. The next thing is by Pokeminers. So if you're a Pokemon Go fan, you should probably follow this Twitter account because they go into detail about like all the updates and stuff for Pokemon Go. Um, I haven't played Pokemon Go in yonks now, but a lot of people still do play it. And, you know, like I say, they, they, they data mine everything about the game. But there has actually been some updates to Pokemon Sleep. Uh, so Pokemon has tweeted out saying, Some more Pokemon Sleep updates have been found so far, including enabling the sleep log on the Plus and retrieving the sleep log from the device. So, again, doesn't really mean much, but the main thing about this is that Pokemon Sleep is still in development. It's not gone anywhere. We got domain names um i want to say recently but it's probably about six months ago now it might have been last year um we got like the domain names pokemon sleep and again this was something that was announced in 2019 it's going to be three years next month think since it was announced as well as detective pikachu 2 so again i don't know if anybody's even excited for this anymore i was at the time because i played pokemon go now i'm not bothered about it at all i kind of just it's like a character arc you know i just kind of want to see what you know, I just want to see what the ending of Pokemon Sleep is. I've been waiting for it this whole time. I'm not even bothered about ever playing it or downloading it. But I just want to see it actually be, like come to light. But it is what it is. That's going to be everything we cover for today's video though, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. And of course, your ideas on this um and all this like gimmick information and stuff subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell it's everything from me though have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace